again. We're at a one-point game. Sheldon will try to extend the Ohio State lead. She does. The performances this afternoon. We have a three-point game, one possession game, under two. You know who Iowa wants to go to. Clark from deep. And you wonder, you wonder what her legs are like late in the game like that. The further like this, the further out she is taking some of those threes, does she have the leg strength to, to connect? We've seen her do it before, Zora. Ohio State right now in no rush. Sheldon trying to set something up. Remember, Celeste Taylor had that big shot end the regulation. Misha, Mikolasha Kova holding the follow through. That's big time. Clark with some pace. If that's Taylor Theory, she is now out. Clark forcing the foul. Miku Lashikova, when your center can step out and is one of your best three-point shooters, that's what you get. The closeout didn't close out quick enough. Big time shot by Miku Lashikova. Taylor Fury has to head to the bench. Meantime, it's a six-point game, 105 to go. Remember, Iowa is 18 and one on the season, has not lost a Big Ten game, 7-0 and in conference play. And boy, what a win like this would be for Ohio State on their resume. If they can close this out. Ohio State lost to Iowa both times last season. Clark gets both of them, four-point game. Under a minute to go. There's been some big shots. Ikulashikova three, the Celeste Taylor jumper. They're going to the hot hand though. Cody McMahon through everyone. Who can guard her? The career high keeps on moving up and it's a six point lead with 42 to go. The last time Iowa dropped a game was to Kansas State in November. The one loss on its resume and, and LaChina, the, the stat that really sticks out to me, Iowa is seven and three when Caitlin Clark scores 40 or more. Right now they are down with 43 seconds left and she's got 43 points and you got to credit Ohio State the toughness they've played with they've gotten rebounds when they've needed it they've gotten stops when they needed them I don't know what Clayton, Caitlin Clark's numbers look like in OT but she's missed more shots than she's made I believe and so they have worn her down even though she has had her way there's been seemingly not only some good defense but some fatigue that is set in late on Iowa's offensive end and Ohio State just riding Cody McMahon Iowa has to get to it quickly. Caitlin trying to go to her left. They give her the drive. Kate Martin, no good. Cody McMahon, who else? And now the foul game. And the important aspect of that possession is Iowa made Caitlin Clark give the ball up. They Great made point. her have to pass it to a teammate, and they've done that a couple of times down the stretch in situations where Caitlin would rather be taking the shot they put it in someone else's hands. And we know the clutch gene runs with Caitlin Clark, but her teammates making those late plays not necessarily as comfortable in those positions. Well, and they haven't had a lot, for, a lot of opportunities to do so. You notice Caitlin Clark trying to get to her left, but then the shot went up via Kate Martin. Sheldon extends the lead to seven, make it eight. Time winding down, only 30 seconds to go. Lisa Bluter. Trying to get one last shot at this. 98-90. I can't stress enough, Zora, you talked about the performance of Cody McMahon. She has struggled offensively with consistency this year. 
Kevin McGuff said, I want her to stay aggressive, but under control. He said she's been practicing well. I believe that's going to show up in her play. And no better day than today against the number two team in the country has McMahon been able to play the mismatch and get the advantage on the inside with her frame, with her body, with her physicality, with her strength. And she's really been a problem. Career high, 33 points. Cody McMahon also had the opportunity to play with USA Basketball in the off season. She said how we played overseas is how Coach McGuff wants us to play. Really helped her understand the Ohio State system a little bit better. We do have one note. We want to let you know Football Night in America will be coming up as soon as this one ends. We've got 30.3 to go here in overtime. Ohio State, eight point advantage. Inbound to Clark. There's a foul immediately. That's the last thing Ohio State wants is for Caitlin Clark to have time to score with the clock off. Just one second went by. Seven point game. Sixteen free throws today for Caitlin Clark. 45 points, that's a season high for 22. Six point game. Well, here at Iowa, you really need some possessions here down the stretch, so I expect to see some pressure. Um, try to get some steals. If not, you're going to have to foul. And if you're Ohio State on the other side of that, you got to take care of the ball. That's it. It's your, it's your ball game. It's in your hands. But if Iowa gets the ball, you expect that Caitlin Clark is going to be involved. Probably for some long-range looks, though. There's plenty of time. Still 29 seconds. They can just get the best available shot, get to the rim, whatever they can, whatever they can get. After that last timeout, neither team has any timeouts left. You see Caitlin Clark's stat line. Look at the defense here. Sheldon fouled. Free throw line game. There was a point in this game where Kevin McGuff just decided that despite the foul trouble, he was going to put his starting lineup, his original group in the game, their experience, their cohesiveness, and it paid off for them on the defensive end. The collapses, the disruptions, Celeste Taylor was brilliant, J.C. Sheldon, everyone did their part. And I think that gamble, that rotation was really important to how this game is going at this moment for Ohio State and the fact that they were able to take the lead. Clark. Quickly, she has to go that way. That one hits nothing. This crowd starting to feel it. Still 21 seconds to go. Lisa Bluter saying, don't foul. JC Sheldon dribbling it out. Shot clock is off. Big time performances. Sheldon. And McMahon embracing. They put it all on the line today. This Ohio State Buckeye team. And they have taken down the number two team in the country. Storm in the field. Or the arena, I should say, for a regular season matchup. Wow. 100 to 92. Coming up next, football night in America. Enjoy the playoffs. And look at this scene.